Hello there everyone, my name is Pritam Niki and I welcome you all to my channel. In this video, I will be talking with you about how you can add and create an awesome looking signature for your Outlook line. So let's get started. Do you want to impress other people with your signature? It may be more useful for you if you are a sales guy. Hey, but before we start creating these awesome looking Outlook signature, Let's have a look where actually the signature setting is. Then after we will talk about from where you can make such signature. First of all, you need to open your Outlook line. So here I have already opened it. Now what you need to do, go to file, then options. And here you can find the mail setting. Click on it. Now make sure that the composed message in format is HTML. Afterward, go to signature. Now from here we are going to create our signature. Another quick tip I want to give you to find the signature setting or to find any setting. Instead of looking for that particular setting, just go here in search toolbar and search for that setting. For example, here I will be typing signature and look at it. I do not even need to write the complete word and I can see the signature is available here. Obviously there should not be spelling mistake in first characters. Now from here I can go to signature. After that you will see an option of creating new signature. Now we can give it a name. For example I will be writing sign Now from here I can define for which particular mail I am going to use it. Now from here we can define whether I want to use it only for the new messages or you want to add your signature every time whenever you reply to a chain mail or whenever you want to forward it to someone. So from here you can select if you want to but I only want it with the new messages so I will be selecting this option only. If you have already predefined standard setting in your office or in your company, then you can fill all your details here. Else we are going to generate an eye-catching signature with the help of free signature generator tools available in the market. So let's find out. Just open google.com and type free email signature generator. Let's open these two sites. Now here. I have actually used this particular site that you saw in the initial part of this video. Don't worry, I will be creating it from scratch. So I will be clearing all the inputs and links as well. Now here you will see the template only. And you can choose from different template available. So let's start filling these options. And it doesn't matter in starting which template you have selected because you can change your template anytime. Now you need to click here and you start filling your detail. For example, I will be filling the same name John Smith. It's kind of default. And here I will be typing marketer. Or maybe I will type mechanical designer. Now here you can add your social options as well. So let's say I want to add the LinkedIn. So I'll be typing LinkedIn.com slash and your username. Next is Facebook. If you want to add further more content then you have a custom field as well. So let's say I want to add custom data example and here it is. Let me just delete it because I don't want to add it. 
Now after I will be clicking here, which give me customization options. Now most of the people would like to change the color of the color scheme or the theme of their company. So what we can do actually, uh, we can get the color code of your company. For example, let's say I want to open the Microsoft logo. And let's say I want the background color. So there are several options to identify the background color code. So the small one that I use is RGB tool. 575352 and you can have a look at it. My point is you can customize it the way you want. Now here you have some font options and how big you want it to be. After you customize all the text and color, now we are going to reach on our last option which is uploading your custom signature images. For example, profile picture if you want to. Then here you may need to provide the link. Now how to create this link? Simply upload your picture to Dropbox or Google Drive or OneDrive. Here in this particular case, I am using Google Drive. So I will select this image and make a right click and then we'll click on get shareable link. When you click on it and, and this thing is green, this shows that you can share this image with anyone. I will paste the same link here and you can see the image is available here. Now here you can see our photo appears but it does not look decent. So what we will do, we will upload another picture with circular cutout. If you want to know how to make a circular cutout, then you can see a card here and there I have explained how you can make a circular picture without any background. So now let's change our picture and instead of this one, I will be using this one. Again, get shareable link. The thing you need to do is you need to remove this one and paste the newer one. Now you can see our picture look much cleaner. Similarly, we will add company logo here. For that again, I'm going back to my drive and going to click on here, get shareable link. Now I will paste it here and here we go. Now you also have an option to write CTA. CTA is kind of call to action that uh, marketing team uses to display some message or some slogan. So we can create that as well. For example, uh, empowering you since 50 years or maybe you want to display some other message or maybe you want to show some sales message and then you can provide the link of this CTA here to that particular offer. For example, I will be writing my website name from where one can download office offline and I can obviously change the color according to my requirement. You also have an option to add image instead of text. So you can add image as well. Now going back to option first and here now you can play with different different templates and can choose whichever suits your style. I want to keep this one. Next thing I need to do is I need to click here on create signature. Now I will copy the whole signature. Here the message is coming, the signature is copied. Let's go back to Outlook and find signature. And now I will define the signature for new messages and then I will paste the same by pressing Ctrl plus V and you can see my whole signature came up. Let's say I want to make some modification. For example, whenever somebody click on my company logo, so I can make that as well. So here I will click and then I will click on link. Then I can provide a browse page link. Let's say Microsoft. Now we can click OK. 
Now let's try with new mail. So I'm going to click on new mail. And here we go. Our signature has been successfully added to our email. So that's all guys in this video from my side. Hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you like this. And I will catch you in my next video. Till then, take care and bye-bye.